If you're watching this video, chances are you have tried YouTube advertising before and it hasn't worked. Maybe you spent just a few dollars, maybe you spent a few thousand and you didn't get the results that you thought you would. There is one thing that you've got to make sure you are doing and if you do this, there's a very high chance that your ads will succeed and your business will grow. And if you don't do it, then no matter what else you try, your ads will fail. Let's get into it. Before we get into the content of today's video, it is important for you to know that whether it's working for you now or not, just know that YouTube advertising is a fantastic vehicle to drive traffic and grow your business. And if it's not working right now, you just need to make some changes, but stick the course because there's a very good chance you will be able to make it work. We have been successfully running YouTube ads for a number of years now. In fact, just inside one of our accounts, we spent close to two million pounds and also generated 61 million views on our ads. Now that didn't happen overnight. That took some optimization. The first few months it didn't work. I could have fallen victim to just thinking that they don't work full stop, but we persisted and we've got to where we are. So let's get back to you. If you've tried YouTube ads and they haven't worked, then it's easy for us to default to just thinking that we picked the wrong audience. When you're setting up a YouTube ad, you're gonna go through and fill out all the bits of information that YouTube is asking you for. And one of the things is, where would you like us to show your ad? And there's a whole bunch of options. We used to have keywords, but now that's been removed. I've got another video on the channel where we talk about that. You've got placements where you're showing your ad over the top of specific videos. Uh, you've got topics where you're showing your ad to people who are interested in a certain topic. And there's a whole host of other audience uh, types. And we can often think, ah, oh, maybe I just clicked the wrong audience. Maybe I did that wrong. Maybe you're blaming the settings overall. Maybe I just clicked some of the wrong buttons. That is not the issue. Maybe you've heard of the 80-20 rule. If you have, the 80-20 of YouTube ads and being successful with them is the actual video itself. If you have a phenomenal video, and when I say phenomenal, I don't mean the fancy pants stuff with all these crazy cameras. I'm talking about the script, what you say that actually attracts the right type of people. If you have a phenomenal video that connects with the right people at the right time, says the right stuff, you have a very high chance of that ad succeeding. And it can even succeed if you didn't quite click all the buttons right, or if you went to an audience that wasn't perfect. So if you're trying YouTube ads and they're not currently working, then your first port of call should be to try a different video with a different script. And I'd like to help you in this area. I've actually got a resource for you. It's called the 60 second script. This process is so important that you get right that I documented it in this infographic where I literally tell you exactly what to say and do all the way through your script to make sure that you say the right stuff to engage the right audience and lead them through to your website and to your business. That's my free gift to you. There's a link in the description box in the top comment. Go ahead and check that out. Just tell me where to send it and I'll get that over to you. But I wanna talk about it a little bit right now because it's so critical to your success. The first part to this framework is the hook. What we're saying in the first few seconds of a YouTube ad. Think about it, when you're browsing around on YouTube and an ad pops up, you are gonna give attention to that ad for a maximum of five seconds before the skip button arrives. But even before that, a second or two, you're making a decision as to whether you even want to continue watching this ad or whether you just cannot wait for that skip button to appear so you can click it. So now you've got to think about when your ads are being watched, are you conveying what you needed to in the first few seconds? There's only so much you can say, there's only so many words you can get out of your mouth in the first few seconds. So are you doing something that is useful and that's actually going to uh, grab the attention of the right people? If I'm targeting coaches and course creators, if that is my audience, if that's the, the person that I actually want to pay attention to my ad, then I'm gonna use the first few seconds to say exactly that. I'm gonna say, hey, real quick, if you sell coaching or courses, I gotta to speak to you. Now, if someone was watching my ad and it popped up for them, and they are selling coaching or selling courses, I've increased the chances now that they're actually gonna stick around. They might not be so eager to skip because I've called out exactly what they're doing. This is more important than selecting the right audience when you're setting up your ad. We actually want to call out our dream audience and our dream clients in what we're saying. Now, I go into a little bit more detail on this in the infographic, so make sure to grab that. Let's move on to the second piece. We've hooked their attention. Hopefully we've got the right people past the skip button. The second part to this framework is actually provide a little bit of value. And we only want this to be about 45 seconds. So you might be thinking, well, how do we provide value in 45 seconds? We wanna do something that we've been teaching our clients for years called the wow, not the how. 
And we use this in so many areas of marketing. And it basically means that we want to give someone light bulb moments to where they go, wow, that was cool. That was interesting. That was intriguing. But we're not moving so far into the hows. So we're actually telling them how to do it. And that's the exact impression we want to leave. Wow, that sounds awesome. I have no idea how to do it. And we can do that in 45 seconds. You can share a little bit about your business, your topic, the problem that they have and the solution that you have. We can talk about that for 45 seconds and we can describe your business in a way or your topic in a way they haven't heard before to where they go, wow, that's actually pretty cool. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I haven't thought about it like that before. And by giving them that light bulb moment, you are standing out above all the other ads on the platform that are just going straight for the kill and trying to make sales. You've actually provided very short, but a little piece of content. The final piece is the third step on here, which is the call to action. So many people get this wrong. In their ad, the call to action is, if you'd like to learn more, click the link below. That's a terrible, terrible call to action. There's no specificity in there and we need it. So a good call to action is gonna describe what you want them to do next, sell them on making the click and make sure that it's an informed click. They actually realize what they're doing and where they're heading. So if your call to action is for them to register for your webinar presentation, then a call to action instead of, if you'd like to learn more, click the link below, your call to action is going to be, hey, if you'd like to go a bit deeper on this topic, I've got a, a brand new presentation prepared for you where I will walk you through the first thing, the second thing, the third thing, insert what they are for you. And all you got to do is click the link that's somewhere on or around this video and that will take you to a page you can register for the training and I look forward to seeing you there. That would be a much better, much more impactful call to action that will actually get people to make the click and again, be an informed click. So to round this off, if you've tried YouTube ads, uh, maybe you've tested it a little bit, maybe you've tested it a lot. If it's not working for you, this is the solution. It is having a good script in your ad. We have tried this over and over and over again. And, uh, and this has proven the best thing to uh, troubleshoot an ad account that isn't working or ads that aren't working. And it's been the backbone of the almost two million pounds that we spent on the platform. So I hope that resource helps you and I hope today's video has helped you. If you'd like to go deeper on this topic of YouTube ads, I've got another video for you right here that will walk you through exactly what we do to make our YouTube ads successful. And don't forget, give me a thumbs up on today's video if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate that. It helps the channel, helps me. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel because we're putting out new content every single week. See you soon.